Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, an internal conflict. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of death? Romans 7, 22 to 24. Christianity means conflict. At least, if it doesn't mean conflict, it certainly creates conflict. The question is, why are we so silent? Why do we seldom hear anyone say that living holy isn't natural? It isn't natural. It's supernatural. Unless we constantly walk in the Spirit, living holy is difficult. No, it's impossible. Possible. It isn't natural to do good to them that hate you. Matthew 5, 44. You don't see a dog steal another dog's bone and then the betrayed dog waggle his tail in happiness. No, forgiveness isn't natural. Without God, it cannot be done. Being a Christian means that one part of you is constantly warring to do the right thing, while the other part of you is desperately campaigning for you to walk in your old habits. We often talk about how God saved us from sin. I agree. I'm grateful for all the terrible wicked things that he saved me from. Because I was saved, I didn't commit those wicked sins. But I would have had he not set up a protest in my heart. He brought my trembling soul to his bleeding side and cleansed my very imaginations intentions and ambitions. Yes, the Christian life is a life of conflict. I thank God that he groans and protests my sinful behavior. It is because he challenges my proclivities that begins growth. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David walks stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul walks weaker and weaker. 2 Samuel 3 Verse 1. Transformation is a process. It takes faith and patience to see the result that brings out the true nature of Christ in any of us. It is when we strip away the facade of superficial and, and ask God to bring about the supernatural that we experience the real power of God. God wants to transport us from the superficial to the supernatural. The quote of the day. The Christian life is a life of conflict. Now go today knowing that if you forgive, then you too shall be forgiven. God bless you in Jesus' name.